Hi guys, Ali and Luke here. Today we're going to give you a little bit of an explanation of what's been going on here the past couple weeks. It's been pretty hectic, pretty wild. Uh, we have Ali's birthday coming up. Uh, we're looking forward to getting a bunch of mail for him so we can do a, a birthday mail video. Um, you know, we got this new puppy so we've been really busy. Yep, so we haven't been filming in Ollie's playroom because we've had a situation up there that we had to remedy first. Uh, it's pretty dangerous uh, seeing the end result of what, what actually was going on. Uh, but we managed to catch it um, on camera so we'll be able to show you exactly what was actually happening. So stay tuned, we got some really great footage coming up. We have some very, very special never before done, I don't think on any monkey channel that I've seen. Uh, coming up, it's gonna be really exciting this Friday, so be on the lookout for that. I will be posting on social media about it, and I would really like your guys' input on it because it's it was quite difficult to do. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're not like and subscribe, click this button. <laughs> and here we go. You ready, Ollie? explaining that he didn't have an extra frame to bring uh, to install these combs into. So what we're doing is we're just kind of using this blue box to the left of, of him to store these honeycombs so we don't damage uh, their progress already. And he's explaining that it, they're not like attached to the chimney itself, that they're attached to the bricks over the hole. So we're going to scrape them off the bricks and get them into this box gently. We have to be careful because if, if it falls down or, or something like that, uh, they'll only attend to the one side and anything on the other side will rot and cause disease, etc. I thought this was particularly amazing since he only gave it one little squirt of smoke and he's just kind of bare hands, uh, elbow deep in, in thousands and thousands of bees. Like it looks like a blanket of bees on this comb to me. I was nervous, but um, uh, his confidence made me confident. <laughs> So he's got to get the remainder of the bees off that brick and back into this blue box here, back to the main comb. Uh, bees operate by pheromones, so uh, that brick is saying, hey, the comb is here when the comb's actually in the box now. So he's going to have to scrape all that off so the bees don't get confused and go back to the brick. and uh, Either rebuild the comb, make a new queen even, or, uh, or just go there and die because there's nothing there. Isn't it amazing how docile they are? Like I figured it was gonna be a swarm of these angry bees. We we're all in their house and they're you know they're gonna to try to protect their queen, but they were just kinda of hanging out, making sure, you know, we weren't hurting nothing, thankfully. So it was kinda of weird, it was surprising. When I first saw this one come out, I was like, holy cow, that is huge. Um, but he said no, that's that's still small. Like he said it's no older than six months old. As you can see the comb is still really light and new. But he's gonna come up with a close up scared the mess out of me again. <laughs> he got real close and this was a lot of bees. Like this one was football sized. Thanks for watching the only channel on YouTube dedicated to the life of a baby square monkey. Please like and subscribe. Say bye Ollie.